Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss about the special sense part which helps us to perceive the sound from the environment. That means the sense of hearing. Let's see the contents we are going to discuss today. That is what is audition, different parts of the human ear, then pathway of the audition, then diseases of the ear and ultimately there will be some questions to test your knowledge. So friends, what is audition? The power of sense of hearing is called audition. That means we can hear the sound present in our environment by the activity of audition. It helps to hear different types of sound present in the environment and it also can distinguish between the two types of sounds. That means we can distinguish between the sounds of the flute and the sound of the animal etc. So whatever the sound quality is, what type of sound is present in the environment that is totally perceived with the proper differentiation with the help of the audition. different parts of the ear. Now here we can see that uh, different parts of the ear like uh, there are uh, three parts. This is the outer part which is called the outer ear. So up to this the left hand side of this red dot is the outer part of the ear. We can see that there is a pinna. Pinna is the outermost part of the outer ear which is made up of very uh, thin cartilage so that it can be bent very easily. After the pinna, we, if we uh, peep inside the ear, we can see that a long tube like structure which is extended inside the ear which is not visible from the outside. So this is called the ear canal. So the outer ear is totally made up of two parts. One is pinna, another one is ear canal. Now this ear canal ultimately ends into a thin membrane which is called the tympanic membrane. So from this tympanic membrane we can say that the middle ear starts. So this tympanic membrane actually uh, attach the outer ear with that of the middle ear. In the middle ear we will see that there are three small bones. One is malleus, another one is incus, another one is stapes. They are otherwise known as malleus as hammer, incus as anvil and stepis as a stirrup. So they all are in close contact with each other, malleus in close contact with the tympanic membrane and this the last one that is the uh, stepis or the stirrup that is with the close contact with the oval window. Now this oval window we can say that is the gateway of the sound from the middle ear to the inner ear. Now in the inner ear we have got semicircular canals, then uh, auditory nerve, then uh, cochlea and the vestibular apparatus. So, so this is the, You can see this is the uh, inner ear which is uh, in a very elaborate uh, way described here. So these are the semicircular canal. So semicircular canal are made up of three uh, tiny canals that is the anterior canal, this semicircular canal, anterior canal, posterior canal and the horizontal canal. After that comes this arterial and saccule. These are the parts of the vestibule, this arterial and saccule. The arterial part is attached with the semicircular canal and the saccule part is uh, contacted in, in contact with the cochlea. Now this is the cochlea which is a coiled structure which contains a fluid. So these are the elaborate uh, structure of the inner part of the human ear. So as we have just discussed that outer ear is consist of pinna and the ear canal and the pinna is made up of cartilage and all. So these are all uh, well discussed here. It is continued in the next slide. 
where it is uh, written that the middle ear uh, it is uh, contained of uh, ossicles and the three small bones and functions together to receive, amplify and transmit the sound from the eardrum to the inner ear. So, these three are very important word we have to keep in our mind that the middle ear receives the sound from the outer ear. It amplifies the sound that means it elaborates the sound and it transmits the sound from the eardrum into the inner ear. So, this three important work has been done by the middle ear, means the tiny bones of the middle ear. It receives the sound, it amplifies the sound and it transmits the sound to the inner ear. Now, the inner ear is the innermost part of the human ear. It is made up of cochlea, vestibule of the ear and semicircular canals, which is just now we have discussed. And it is not only help in the uh, activity of hearing, but also helps in maintaining the body balance. Is the pathway of audition that how we hear a sound says hello it uh, comes to the outer ear that is the pinna sounds which is the outer ear from there it uh, goes to the ear canal and it vibrates the tympanic membrane and as because the tympanic membrane is in close uh, connectivity to the uh, bony ossicles so it vibrates the bony ossicles that is vibrate the eardrum through the ossicles and it comes to the inner ear that means in the cochlear part and uh, in the cochlear part there is auditory nerve and this auditory nerve actually um, it is the cranial nerve 8 which enters into the brain in the brain it goes to the nu cochlear nucleus from there to the superior olivary complex from there to lateral lemniscus from their inferior colliculus, medial geniculate body and ultimately to the cortex part where the perception of the hearing is failed. So here the pathway of audition in words. Now we will discuss about some diseases of the ear. First of all, otitis. Otitis actually it is an ear infection. It uh, occurs in the middle ear. The main cause uh, uh, is the uh, invasion of the microorganisms like bacteria, uh, virus, etc. If uh, there is water uh, present inside the ear, uh, which is uh, very often uh, occurs in the case of the swimmers, and uh, then their infection occurs, that is called otitis. The symptoms includes the, the impaired hearing, that means uh, uh, hardness to hear. Then uh, drainage of the fluid from the ear, which is not very much good in the smell and so on. Next is perforated eardrum. If there is a hole present in the tissues that separates the ear canal from the middle ear, that is called perforated eardrum. It may be caused by the loud sounds, head trauma, etc. The third one is tinnitus. So, it is a ringing or the buzzing noise that is very much continuous or discontinuous. It may be caused by the exposure of the loud sound, hedge injury, etc. The next one is cholesteatoma. So, it is a, a type of growth that occurs into the middle ear, but it is not uh, uh, to some extent uh, non cancerous in nature. It may be from birth also. Some old age problems of the hearing is uh, hearing loss and the balance impairment. Both are involved, uh, both involves the inner ear. Now this hearing loss is actually due to the decreased capability of the uh, inner ear, hair cells to work properly. And this balance impairment, is all, balance impairment is also for that. And the most common symptom for the balance impairment is the vertigo. Vertigo means it's a feeling like that the person or the thing around the person are spinning. Now, you test yourself. Some questions are given. Try to answer it by yourself and test. So, thank you. Thank you very much for watching this. Keep in touch. So long. Bye-bye.